Okay, tech fans, welcome to another episode of Tech of Tomorrow. Today we're checking out the SwiftTech H220X CPU Liquid Cooling Kit. Let's go. The SwiftTech H220-X CPU Liquid Cooling Kit is a really awesome all-in-one cooling kit made by the people down at SwiftTech down in Long Beach, California. Now this thing features a dual radiator, and like I said before, it's an all-in-one unit. And the heat sink is really cool because now you can change all the colors to a bunch of different variants, which is really cool if you're somebody looking to do a custom build. Now, not only is this thing closed loop, but if you want to change it out and do different stuff with it and expand it, it can also do that as well. It's a very cool kit in that respect. The unit features a dual 120 millimeter copper radiator and enthusiast grade pump and water block. Both SwiftTech's powerful MCP30 pump and high pressure helix fans are PWM compliant devices, allowing the H220X to be recognized and speed controlled by the motherboard, depending on CPU temperature, just like a regular cooling fan. As a bonus, the system also includes their PWM splitter, allowing connections of up to eight PWM devices, which can then be controlled as a single unit by the motherboard. And since SwiftTech includes a really killer pictorial installation guide, setup could never be easier. Like I said before, the system can be entirely customized thanks to easily replaceable tubing and fittings. Due to the powerful pump, the unit can support additional liquid cooled components, such as a graphics card and or additional radiators. The factory fittings can now be upgraded to any one quarter compatible aftermarket fittings. An optimal adapter is needed for the pump outlet and is available at SwiftTech website. This will allow enthusiast users to upgrade their system to half-inch ID tubing if they want to. SwiftTech once again has geared their product to remain focused on low to inaudible operating noise with extreme thermal performance as well, which means this thing's geared to work very, very well and still not bring a bunch of noise into your system, which is really good because you don't want your system to be sitting there going Eing! the entire time that you're using it. Now for us, we built a custom system totally around this kit, and we actually did something that we've never done before. We made our first hardline system. This is our first, we're gonna do more, but you guys can see right now, this is our very first system. Anthony Reynolds, our in-house tech, and our new guy as well, Eric Henry, worked together to bring this system to the table. The system features a Gigabyte G1 Sniper M3 motherboard. This is socket 1155, and we've got an i5 2500K inside that bad boy. System also features 16 gigabytes of Kingston memory, and we just used a simple hard drive in this system. We used a 500 gigabyte, I think, Western Digital Blue Drive. We also used a Radeon 7900 video card, and you can see that we also used the Komodo Dragon Cooler on that as well. Obviously, the SwiftTech H220X CPU Liquid Cooling Kit, and you guys can see it's all hardline, which is pretty neat. This is a very simple design system. We weren't looking to go out. We weren't really looking to go all out. We were just looking to make some that looked pretty cool and experiment with doing the hard line with the system so you guys can see how well and how easily actually it can be made from just its standard cooling kit being all in one to an expandable different type of kit. The system was meant to be as minimalistic as possible, but still be elegant and clean looking, which I think we've accomplished here. But now I know what most of you guys want. You guys are going, hey, hey, show us the dang score. So that's the system. Now let's check out the scores. We ran the CPU at a bunch of different frequencies within its range, all the way up to its 4.08 overclock from its standard 3.3 gigahertz. Now you guys can see that this thing was running at about 54 degrees Celsius under a normal load being standard, and we overclocked it. It was getting about 68 Celsius at the overclock stage. So this thing was running pretty good. Now take in mind, that the ambient heat of your room is going to affect how your cooling is. So if your room's gonna be 100 degrees, you're not gonna be able to expect your CPU to be dropping below that threshold. It's always going to be a little bit hotter than that. But one thing about water cooling that's better than air cooling altogether is that the air cooling automatically takes all that heat and pushes it into your room, creating a hotter ambient temperature. And the ambient temperature is a lot harder to reach using a liquid cooler. Once again, folks, if you guys want to check out the full specs and learn more about the SwiftTech H220X, including buying it, well then check out the link down below that like button, which I hope you'll hit and we'll have all the details. So that's it, folks. We've made this one pretty quick and pretty dirty for you folks. We know you guys like to get right to the heart of the matter. So I'm Elric, and thank you guys once again for watching Tech of Tomorrow. If you guys like what you see, hey, you guys know what to do. Hit that sub button, and if you liked it, hey, hit that like button. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech business soon.